Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Logan Schneider, if you don't already know who I am. Today's a big day. I've been waiting on these things for a while and I haven't got to uh, really talk about it too much, but all my Fusion scooters just came in. I've been waiting on them for a while, there's been a lot of uh, problems with the shipping and all that stuff, but it finally got resolved. I unboxed this a little while ago. I don't know if that's, this is probably going to be a separate video, but I'm just showing you guys real quick. I got my Fusion tie bars. These will be on my scoop pretty soon, and the cutting and stuff will be in the original unboxing of this video. So, if you guys want to see that, I'll put it up in the cards when it's out. I don't know if this video will be out first, but we'll see. Other than that, we got the big box right here. I have an idea of what's inside here. I only know the colors, and I know there's some extra little things. I'm not quite sure everything that's in here exactly, so I'm going to get right into cutting this bad boy open. All right, looks like there's gonna be four scooters in here. Let's get with the first one. Yeah, it's just four complete. I'm gonna take all these out and I'll lay them down on the side here, and then I'll unbox each one individually. Yeah, okay, I'll start with the smallest box. I actually, I know what this is. This is one of the entry level Fusion completes. It's the X series. I'm actually gonna be doing a special video for these. I'll unbox it real quick, show you guys, but I have to put it back in because I have to do a separate thing for Fusion with that. I'll show you guys what complete it is. This is the X series. Again, I'm not gonna go too much in depth with this thing because I have to do a separate video with it. I'm gonna put this back in the box and now I'm gonna show you guys the completes that you guys really wanna see. All right, I'm gonna save the best for last. So those are these two. Next. I'll open the Z250, which is one of the higher end entry level completes. If I can get this box open, I don't know what color it is, we'll see. Wait, I'm not going to show you. Black and turquoise. Ooh. Right here. Oh my gosh, this thing looks beautiful. For a entry level beginner complete, this is the go-to. Like, this thing is sick. It has the same kind of urethane design as my Ace Wheels. I'll put that video up in the cards. The Ace Wheels, I went into more depth on how that urethane looks and stuff, but it's this like turquoise swirl. It looks really sick. The turquoise on the bottom of the deck complements the black very well. And it's pretty light too, especially since the forks are steel. And then I'll pick up the bars real quick. Got the Y-Bend bars and then just another basic turquoise double clamp. And then we got some swirl grips up here. These look absolutely sick. And just to complement the whole scooter with the swirls, I love it. And especially the swirl with the kind of honeycomb shaped grips they are, it, it just looks sick. I'm pretty sure uh, these bars are steel, same with the forks, and then everything else is aluminum. The wheels are 110 millimeter, I believe. And yeah, let's get right into the next box. All right, these two scooters are gonna be the scooters that I will be riding as my street park complete. I know you guys have already seen these scooters probably on Instagram and all that, but these things are beautiful. And I don't know which one I want to unbox first. I think I will unbox Park Complete, which I will be riding primarily, and then I'll get into my secondary scoot, which will be Street Complete. I already know the two colors for these because these are the scooters that I already knew I was getting. I got both of these scooters in the same color. I got them in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful burgundy red color oh my gosh this thing looks absolutely mad this is the high-end pro model fusion scooter that you can get this is in my mind the best pro park scooter you can get on the market right now i know that's bold but i genuinely believe that this scooter right here in any of the four colorways that i put up on the screen right now this is the best pro park scooter that you can get out of the box and even if you customize it i think this is the best deck you can ride for park so the bottom has this beautiful design. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like, um, don't quote me on this, but it's like some kind of ancient, like Greek type hieroglyphic type stuff, if I'm not mistaken. And it looks really sick on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll show you guys closer. That's the bottom half of the scooter. It comes with these nice hollow core 110s that also has this really cool like paint splatter stars they're your, like connect the dot type stars at least that's what it is in my eyes you can believe what it is in your own interpretation of your scooter very open-minded this thing's really light actually it has aluminum forks ihc compression some sick grip tape brand new and just this nice burgundy red color again i showed you guys what all the other colorways are of this complete that's the bottom half comes with a nylon brake by the way which makes it really light got these dope really light geez 
really light aluminum wide band with gusset bars. These things feel really sick. It's like matte. It's matte black. It has black grips and like a nice silver gray clamp color. And it complements the red very well. I'll put this thing together and go ride it at the skate park in the next video. But this one's just primarily unboxing. That's it for the 350 complete. By the way, I don't know if I said that that was the 350 complete. Now the one before was the 250. Now I'm going to be unboxing the 350 complete, but the box end version. Not to mention the packaging on these boxes are very well made. It's easy to get out. And when they're getting shipped around, they're packaged so well that the scooter parts won't clash on each other or scrap and everything comes out absolutely prime. Real quick, not to mention, I'm gonna put all the specs of all the scooters up on the screen right now. This is the one of the 250 complete. These are all the colors and all of the sizes and all that stuff, all the specs. And then for the 350 non-box, which is the part complete, I'll put all the specs of that one with, I, already, I think I already put all the colors, so um, here's all the specs. And then I'm gonna unbox the 350 and then I'll show you guys all the specs of that one too. So like I just said, this is the park version of the 350. The main difference is that this one has a box and deck. What that means is this thing is better for grinding and it's a little bit bigger, a little bit heftier, it's a little bit longer and wider too. I got this in the same color as my 350 complete non-box and it is same exact color. There's not really a difference. It's this beautiful burgundy. It has more the Greek type lettering with the Fusion logo also being kind of like that. And then the bottom has the same kind of design inside the cutout. Another big difference between the two complete is the 350 non-box doesn't have a cutout in the bottom of the deck and this one has a big extrusion right here. The brake is the same of all the complete, the nice nylon plastic brake. And then let me grab the tape measure real quick and I'll tell you guys size. This deck is 20.5 by five wide. Again, same forks, aluminum, same deck basically, just like I said, box cut out, longer, bigger. With the top end of the scooter, there's also a major difference. With this complete, you will be getting T-bars. The T-bars are steel, but they're oversized, unlike the 250 where I believe they are standard, which makes them a bit heftier, you know, better for the street complete. And we got the same black hex grip and then standard black double clamp. That's it with the top of the bar. I did realize that I didn't go over the sizes of all the other completes, so let me go over that real quick. Before I do that, I'm gonna put all the specs up of the 350 box, and these are the exact spec and everything. Some of the stuff I went over, some of them I didn't. This is just so you guys know about the scooter if there's a specific thing you wanted to know that I didn't go over in the video. All right, so for the par complete, the deck is, I believe, 19. Yep, by 4.75. So 4.75 by 19.5, which is the optimal length for park rider, I believe. At least for how I ride, I think 19.5 is the perfect length for a park scooter and 4.75 is also very nice. I personally like wider deck, so it not being 4.5 like most park decks is nice nice for the 50s, nice for the grinds, makes it nice for all around scooter riding. And let me go over the 250 complete. I got the 250 complete right here. Measure it. I believe it is also, yes, 19.5, but for the entry level, it is 4.5 rather than 4.75. So that's what you will be getting. It's a bit nicer because a little bit uh, lighter and better for the smaller kids that would be riding this scooter. They won't be doing as many 50s, I believe. If they are, well, give them a 350. <laughs> Nah, but honestly, if you have a uh, kid that's just getting into scootering, or if you yourself is just getting into scootering, I believe that this 250 is the best scooter that you can get in a good price range. All right, so the price range for the entry level 250 complete is around 130, I believe. It's honestly cheaper than a pro scooter deck. Getting an entire complete that's this light and this strong for the price of a pro scooter deck, if not less than a pro scooter deck, is just absolutely crazy. So honestly, I think this is the best entry level pro scooter you can buy just on the market right now. Not to mention, other than durability and weight, the looks of the scooter, everything looks sick. Like you gotta admit, the turquoise with the black. All right, so for the park scooter, the price range is gonna be around 180, which is also extremely cheap for a pro scooter like this. This is something like top tier, other than you know changing out the aftermarket parts that you want for your personal scooter, because I know most people that would buy the scooter have already been riding for a while and are, you know, amateur level, not past beginner. 
and you guys all have your preferable parts that you exchange after you get a complete scooter. As a complete for 180, this scooter is the go-to if you need any kind of parts that, like as a complete, for how light, how strong, this is the best part complete that money can buy right now on the market. 180, 350 complete. All right, so now we're gonna step it up one for the street complete. This one is going to run you around 200. It's a little bit more expensive than the part complete, but you're also getting a nice big beefy deck that has a lot more metal on it. <laughs> it's a lot bigger. The price difference is gonna be obvious. Honestly, I wouldn't even really call this completely street. This is a very hybrid deck. I see my friend Hunter, Hunter Frost. I'll put the clip on right now. This fool is doing tricks that people can't even do on their park scooters on this big old street complete. Like that is absolutely crazy to be doing on such a beefy big deck. It's still really light, which is what you want, even if you're hybrid, beginner, park, anything. Pro, not pro, light scooter, it's just the way to go. If it rhymes, it's true. That's gonna be it for the unboxing today. I'll show you guys what comes in every box other than the scooters. So in every Fusion Complete box, other than the scooter itself, you will get a little baggie with the tools you will need to build the scooter itself. Got a five mil, a six mil, and a wrench. And then get a couple cool stickers. Get a nice Fusion uh, Fusion Clear sticker, I'm pretty sure. And then you get a round Fusion sticker, black one. And then you get a red Fusion sticker as the Z on it. Pretty sick. And a little card that thanks you for your purchase. And then you get another little brochure. Gives you some tips on the maintenance of your scooter and all that jazz and all the social medias from fusion and all that good stuff that's everything for the unboxing today i hope you guys enjoyed please like comment subscribe until the next time see you guys Bye.